It's the weekly feed. I'm Kyle Meredith. And uh, once again, Mr. Ben Folds. Hey. Benjamin Franklin Folds. How, how close did I get? Pretty close. Is that really close? It's ben- Benjamin Scott Folds. We were only like uh, 17 letters off the alphabet. I was going with the syllables. I, I figured your parents would have went with a, a kind of a syllable thing, you know, like a little Benjamin, Benjamin Scott Franklin Folds. Folds. Yeah. Oh, that's good, too. Yeah. yeah. Benjamin Scott Folds. Benjamin F. Folds. <laughs> <laughs> that was what they called you later in your teen years. Yeah, well, they they call me tripod, actually. That oh, is that right? Yeah. That's different. That was gym class thing. Yeah. <laughs> that was different, dude. Uh, I'm so excited. I know you got a new record coming out later this yep. year with Y Music. That's correct. And it's called So There. That's correct. So there. You're getting it all right. That's it. I've done. A, that's the interview. Yeah. I'm gonna answer the questions that's for you. Good. You know how you made that album one time? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, turning into a Chris Farley thing yeah. uh, automatically. Uh, before I get to that, though, uh, you were at the White House recently. Yep. And I guess you played for the First Ladies, right? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It, 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 like, that's got to be a little bit more pressure. That's a different kind of audience. It is. I mean, I'm always worried I'm going to say something stupid. You know, uh, that's the big thing is just some sort of not so latent Tourette's coming out or something. Yeah. But I mean, you're a master of the F-bomb. Yeah. Like masterful. Masterful, yeah. yeah it's, that's it's, how you use it. That's high skill, you know. <laughs> it's a skill that we can all uh, uh, hope to have. Some, you know, I, they were they were great, and and I, I didn't say anything stupid or foul, or yeah. uh, and I, I don't think I messed anything up too badly. And uh, Michelle was Miss Obama was great. Yeah, she was. Is there she was really you, really interesting person. I really liked her. Is there anything you wanted to get away with at the White House that you you had to pull yourself back from? Like I figure there's some hijinks that you just want to try. You know, no, I'm not nearly that naughty in those situations. I'm just thinking, don't mess up, don't mess up. Thinking about, you know, like uh, what I'm going to play and just little stuff like that. Looking at paintings going, wow, that's a nice painting. Yeah. And, and this was kind of for uh, for armed forces and, and, and things. Yeah, and it was. Such, it was. Right? It, yeah. yeah, it was for as for wives of, of, of veterans and, and servicemen. You do a lot of charities. I, I tend to think well, like you match up a lot with various cities and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. You know, you can't do everything. I do the things that present themselves and seem to resonate. You know, and a lot of what I do is uh, music education. Something means a lot to me. I feel like if education is cruising along and, 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 and people know history and music and art and philosophy and those things, that the world could only be better. So that is something I feel strongly about doing. You can't feed everyone in the world. You can't educate everyone. So it's one of those things. It's like I, I think the more that I do, the more I get asked to do, the more I have to turn down. Right. And now I have a total guilt complex about the 10,000 things I couldn't do last <laughs> week. But I do I do what I can to mean something to me. I, I've been in the music business long enough now to where I can do what the hell I want. Yeah. So. But not every artist takes that opportunity to give something back, to, to try to change the world, try to help the world. I, in whatever case, not everybody does that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean optimistically, I almost feel like if someone's been... Like, I've been making records for, I realize now, 25 years, right? And, and and I feel like if you've been doing it for that long, chances are you're also the kind of person that can multitask, do a couple things, and wants to give it back. I make that assumption. You, you know what the headlines are going to be? What? Ben Folds, capable of anything. Capable You just anything. laid it out there for us. I did. Just with that right you, there. Well, I set them up and you knock them down <laughs> really well. We'll take this on the road. Okay. So, yeah. which, so that means we've moved on to self, uh, self-promotion. We've moved on to self from, Did you like that? We've moved on from, yeah, I do things for other people to buy my an album. Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, the, the album artwork that I saw, it's you in boxing gloves. That's not the well, album I'm art. I'm sorry. It, it's, it is pr- promotional art. Yeah, yeah. The album art is uh, is an interesting piece that uh, the flutist on the record painted. Okay. And I'm really fond of it. Um, so what's what's with the gloves? I mean, are, am I looking at a parallel? Are you a little beat up in life? or? Uh? Uh, you know, we just thought it would be... Uh, is it, that has more to do with the piano concerto. That's where the idea came from. Mm-hmm. So on the new album, there's a concerto for piano and orchestra. The idea, this is like twenty-one minute piece or twenty-six mm-hmm. minute, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And this, this, um, the the photograph was like photograph of the piano player and the piano having having it out, the piano winning. So I, you know, we're in a boxing ring and the piano wins in this photograph. <laughs> yeah, we talk about it being that long too. Uh, at what point do you try to write a prog album? Because now, you know, you're doing these long pieces, and, and I don't know how thin the line is that you could just kind of just push on I, a little bit over there, you know. Now I think I've jumped the fence, and I? I mean, I've jumped the shark. <laughs> I jumped something. I mean, there, I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, a prog rock album, I guess, is, is you know, takes a lot of inspiration from symphonic work mm-hmm. and, and, and operatic work, and, um, 
you know, thematically how those things hold together. Where rock pieces are, you know, songs are three and a half, four minutes long. A, uh, you know, you know, they're, they're, you know, like a piano concerto is easily at least 20, 25 minutes long and often upwards of an hour. And um, so, yeah, so I think I, I just jumped the prog part and went straight to playing with an orchestra. It's kind of funny that you put it that way. And, and I almost feel like we're in such a genreless era right yeah. now. Like, it, w especially when, you know, you, you, you hear about kids coming up and, and coming into their own you and how they this, perceive yeah. music. Yeah. Like, that's the whole thing. It's like, it, it's not so genre as it was for either of us growing up, you know, where it was all in the CD stores. And this is rock and this is rap and this is classical. It's funny, we were just talking about how Bonnaroo was ahead of the curve on that realization. Yeah. Because this festival has always been really not that concerned with curating in a real literal sense mm -hmm. to go okay here's one band here's another one they they're exactly alike mm -hmm. it's so you know i think they were ahead of that and that's you're right you're right i mean that we're in a generation or we're in an era now which is probably you know in in, in uh you know in art history you'd look at that as a repopularization era mm -hmm. not that nothing new is coming up but much of what's new that's come up has been like where Lady Gaga started the ball rolling with just almost a collage of repopularization of things and uh, and the context being out of context and what that means and that's yeah I understand that I think that's great it's a vocabulary it means something new the symbols are old the meanings new but that's that that is that's just how we get the new sounds it's I when all so. that stuff starts to come together and yeah and it always has been and and uh, but but right now I think you know you can really sit in a style and just do it you know yeah. like like I'm I was a, you know, I was kind of a, um, an artist that maybe sounded like I was stuck in the 70s when it was the 90s. Right. Now to look back on it, it doesn't sound as much like that as it did, you know. But but it's always that old saying that I, I've said in these interviews before. That's how you draw Beethoven to the Beatles. It's not so far away. Yeah, like, it's not so far away, and it's one step at a time. Right. You know? And that's all coming across in your new record. Well, thank you. I mean, it's uh, the new record is you know it's a it's a classical sextet. There's no electric instrument on this record. There's no uh, bass on this record, right. but it's still rock music. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're we like rock and roll. It's good. I'm the rock musician dressed in classical clothing. They're the classical musicians dressed in rock clothing. Well, I can't wait to hear the rest of the record when it comes out. Ben Folds, thank you so much thank for dropping you. by today. It's oh, been a pleasure to talk me. to you. All right, on. All right. Let's do it in the sun again someday. It's Ben Folds on the weekly feed. Mm -hmm.